Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Ever. Amen. <clears throat> and that's as far as I'll read for sake of reading. Um, I want to uh, look at just part of that. Uh, verse number 11, where he said, Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. I had got to uh, thinking about some things the other day. I'd actually got to thinking about the cross of our Lord and Savior and, and uh, the doctrine of the cross and you know what all that it means, uh, what all happened there on that day when Jesus suffered the way that he did, died for our sins, for the sins of the world. His body was broken. Um, I, I, and I began to think about that. And you know, Jesus said many times, I am the bread of life. Amen. I am the bread of life. And he told his disciples that he was given, he was given for the sins of men. Um, that his body to be broken. Um, now I know 
when the Lord's telling us here, give us this day our daily bread, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to grasp hold of all of what that entails. Now, I think basically what he's entailing is our daily necessities, our daily needs. Give us this day our, our daily needs. Um, he had been talking to them about how these other men prayed now, and but then he said, I don't want you to pray like they pray. I want you to understand something about prayer. And he began to teach them to pray. He began to teach them to pray. And part of that prayer was uh, at the first about his, his will being done. About his will being done. And then very quickly, give us this day our daily bread. That, that is the will of God in our life for this day. Does that make sense to you? I think it's entailing that. I think that it has a lot to do with uh, the will of God for you and I, our daily bread. It could have something to do with our daily cross. Take up your cross daily. It could have something to do, when he said, give us this day our daily bread, uh, that may have been one of the attachments of that daily bread, is the daily cross. What you and I, uh, you know, suffer for his name's sake. Um, the, the Bible says in the book of Acts that they search the scriptures daily. This book is, is bread for you and I. Yes, sir. You know, and, and it takes the Lord to help us to see and to understand what's in this. And boy, when you, listen, you don't have to, you don't have to just, you know, just take in great volumes to get full on this. Right. Right. All, it all it takes is God just to give you just to give you the revelation on one little thing. You talk about chewing on it for days. Amen. Maybe even weeks. Uh, that daily bread. But let me go back to what I'm thinking about. When I was thinking about uh, Christ there on the cross. Uh, God desires fellowship with and there was no way that God could fellowship with you and I apart from the sacrifice of his son. Amen. Now, what is the breaking of bread? <clears throat> when you talk about giving us this day our daily bread, what do you, what do you think about? Well, you think of fellowship? You think of communion? I do. Right. Every time bread was broken or given, it was in fellowship. It was uh, in fulfillment. It was for help. One man came. Jesus spoke to his disciples of a story about a man that come knocking in the middle of the night. Arise, give me bread. I've got people come from a far country. Right. He said, which one of his neighbor would give him a snake or give him a, you know, a scorpion? But he said, no. He said, he'll arise. He'll give him what he needs. Uh, you know, so it's a it's a fulfillment of love, a supply of the need that must be met. And it is fellowship. But Christ is that bread that was broken. And, and I, I want to preach on this sometime if God will let me, if God let me get deeper into this thought. Calvary... <laughs> was God breaking bread with man. Amen. Amen. God breaking bread for man. Amen. So that he could fellowship with man. He broke his son, the bread of life. Amen. God broke the bread of life that day. Right. Jesus said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. Amen. Amen. 
that if a man eats thereof, he shall never die. Amen. Amen. He said, your fathers did eat bread, manna, manna in the wilderness. That's what it did. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. That what is that that came down and sprinkled all over that they picked up daily? Angels' food, they called it. But it was still not the bread from heaven that Jesus was. As good as that manna was, as miraculous as it was, it was not the bread from heaven that Jesus was. And on that day that Jesus died on the cross, that was God breaking bread so that he could fellowship with man. That was God saying, I can have communion with you through the breaking of this bread. Amen. And through the breaking of this bread alone. Amen. His son. Are you getting a hold of that? I, I tell you what, that's, I didn't read that in the book. I didn't get that from Barnes and Noble. You, are you, I didn't get that from Strong's or anybody else. God gave me that thought. God broke bread at Calvary, so that he could commune with me and you. Amen. God desires fellowship and communion with me and you. Amen. Amen. And when Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread, and I'm not talking about putting Jesus on the cross daily, no. But I'm talking about that daily, not just our daily supply, our daily need, but even more than that, that daily fellowship, that daily communion with God. Listen, man shall not live by what? Bread alone. And he's talking about earthly bread. Man shall not live by bread alone, earthly bread, but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God more than you need a bowl of soup today, you need communion with God. Amen. More than I need a steak or a sandwich or a broiled fish and some honey as they used to eat back in the early days of the New Testament. And I'm boy, you talk about a good meal, a nice broiled campfire fish and a honeycomb. I mean, you was doing good. More than that, Amen. they need communion with God. Amen. You and I need that fellowship with God. Give us this day our daily bread. Listen, it's not a command saying, he's teaching us to pray this. We're not coming before God and saying, give us this day our daily bread as a command. It's more of, and this is what God gave me today when I was thinking about it. It's more of our faith when we come to him asking him this way. Right. Give us this day our daily bread. Faith in such a way, listen to me, as if a man that worked a day and was promised the penny wage at the end of the day. Give me my penny. I work. What you ask? Can I have my penny now? He was expecting. It's not that you and I necessarily deserve it. Listen to me. I'm talking about some of these parables that Jesus set forth. Started just kind of rolling through my mind. And when the Lord gives these things, it's for a, purpose, for a greater purpose than just one little thing we can see. There were some men in one of his parables that was upset because... They thought they should have gotten more. They agreed with a penny for the day. They bore the morning, the afternoon, and the heat of the day. But they agreed. Somebody else come at the end of the day. They agreed for the same penny. You work the rest of the day out, you'll get a penny. Why were they jealous? But listen, it was more than just learning about not being jealous is knowing that you could come to him that you agreed with, that agreed with you and said, 
my penny please. Okay. Give us this day our daily bread. You're expecting and you're not doubting. Amen. There's no reason to doubt. Right. Because he said, I'll give you a penny at the end of the day. Amen. And the Lord said, I, I want to, I've broken bread on Calvary. Amen. I'm communed with you. I will give you what you need Amen. to take care of you, to supply what you need and everything. In our so when we come to give us this day our daily bread, we come to him not in a commanding way, but in an expecting way. Amen. Daily bread, please, Heavenly Father. What did Jesus say? Ask and you shall receive. Right. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Right. Don't take a whole lot of faith when you already know he promised he'd give it to you if you'd only ask. Right. Daily bread, please. Give us this day our daily bread. <clears throat> give us this day our daily bread. God desires to give it more than you desire to give. We know that. When the Lord said, give us this day, he's teaching us to pray. Give us this day our daily bread, our daily communion with God. That is, so Listen, I'm going to ask you something. How many days do you go without something? Most of us here probably don't ever go a day without something to eat unless we decided not to. I don't know if there's anybody in here froze because they didn't have clothes to put on. Or just had to stand out in the rain for months under the torrential rains because you didn't have a barn to cover your head. You see, it's not those daily needs that you and I need to be concentrating on. They're took care of all the time. But how many times have we really communed with God? We're missing a daily bread. We are missing some daily bread. Right. And because all these others, we, th we think that's it. No, this is far more important. Amen. 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 Can you imagine if we communed with God? Like we ate every day. Can you imagine if we communed with God as much as often as we walked into our house for shelter? Can you imagine if we communed with God as often as we slipped on warm clothes? Daily bread. Daily needs. The daily supply. Well, this one is one that you and I need more than you. And God broke bread that you and I could commune with him. He's already made the way through Calvary, through Christ, through his son, through the cross, that he could fellowship with us. That was God on that day saying, now I can fellowship with you. Amen. Now I can commune with you. Thank the Lord for that. His holy name. I thought that was uh, well. Help. I know it helped me. It Amen. sure, it sure helps my faith. Amen. It sure helps my faith. Amen. Let's all stand Amen. together. <clears throat> I hope it's helped your faith. <coughs> Daily bread, please. Sit down at his table, pull up a chair. It's hard to commune with him on the run. Right. You're right. You have to be willing to just slow down. And say, Heavenly Father, I, I want my daily bread now, please. I thank you.
fellowship, my communion with you, that I made. He made it. We are in need, so desperate need. Thank God he never leaves us, never forsakes us. Amen. I thank God for that. The Lord help me to not take advantage of the fact that he doesn't leave. Amen. I don't want to just come and go because he'll always be there. Come and go and never really say a whole lot to me. I don't want to do that. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for your precious word. Thank you for your people, your children. Lord, I pray that your word would be real to them. God, get glory for yourself. Thank you for the bread of life. Thank you for your son, Jesus, making it possible that we can have communion with our Heavenly Father. Lord, have your will and way. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. While she plays, the altar's open if you need to pray. Sunday service. Remember Saturday we'll be passing out those baskets if you're able. I know not everybody is but if you are and you'd like to come, 1 o'clock right here at the church okay? Alright. If you're at liberty in the Lord, God bless you. We love you. Amen.